Today, we've all lost one hour of sleep. And it got me thinking about what are the problems with chronic sleep deprivation. So if you're not getting enough sleep, and 50 to 70 million people in the United States, because of one reason or the other, are chronically deprived of a good night's sleep. There are 90 sleep disorders that produce the sleep deprivation. And when people don't sleep well, the body's stressed. The body needs more sleep. The body needs seven and a half hours of good sleep on an average. Younger people more, older people, about the same. When we don't get enough sleep, then the body is challenged. It gets uptight. The adrenal glands work more people start having medical problems. Some of the medical problems that go along, believe it or not, when you lose sleep, you gain weight. And when people gain weight, they get insulin resistance. There's an increased incidence of diabetes at that time, and diabetes leading cause of, a cause of blindness uh, and blood vessel in the extremity uh, deficiency. So uh, there's the diabetes, there's cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, the adrenal gland puts out hormones to keep us awake and to make us perform well. And when that happens, our blood pressure can go up. When the blood pressure goes up, it causes heart problems. The heart problems can include heart failure. So there's a wide number of problems that go along if we're not getting enough sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, you need to try and figure out why. Is it pain? Is it your medications? Is it you don't go to bed on time? Is it that you're not comfortable? Is there noise in the house? There's a myriad of things that can help your sleep deprivation. If you can't figure it out and if you can't sleep well, then there's time for professional help. And they're board certified sleep specialists in the United States. And in Knoxville, there are several that can guide you toward a good night's sleep, so toward a healthy lifestyle and healthy life. So be sure we get enough of those blinks at nighttime. And now, question from viewer, Dr. Bob, can you give us an update on the coronavirus? Well, the coronavirus, we, the United States is really doing an excellent job. It's in the United States, it's on the West Coast, it's on the East Coast. It's a droplet infection, so we want to continually wash our hands. We've been told to wash our hands, soap and water, and wash for a good 20 seconds. That's singing the song, Happy Birthday, twice uh, while you're washing your hands. that will get you happy when you're doing that. Uh, when we get the coronavirus, the symptoms are fever, they're cough, and their malaise not feeling well. The older don't handle the coronavirus as well as young people, especially if you've got a superimposed illness such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, bronchitis, heart disease. Those people are not going to do well. So think about your health and see what you think you're going to be able to handle or not. Be sure you've got enough of your medicine supplies and that you stay safe the coronavirus will eventually be in this area. But it's something we want to respect, not fear. Now, Leslie, back to you.